Hi, I'm Lewis Bloom. Some sad news for drag racing fans is High Speed Motorsports owner and tuner Tom Shelar passed away in his sleep this past August 22nd. His unexpected demise came days after his AA fuel dragster won the Spokane Summer Nitro Nationals. That event win propelled Shelar's driver Mendy Fry into a commanding lead in the 2018 Heritage Series Top Fuel Points Chase. After that victory, Tom and his brother Rick Shelar, car chief in the high speed entry, towed back to their team shop in Anaheim, California, confident that their quest for a repeat season points title was nearly a mathematical given. Tom's passing two days later has been a shock to more than just the Heritage Series community. Shelar's influences permeate into many forms of motorsports. Tom is the proprietor of CADCAM Consulting Services, a company that provides software and hardware to many manufacturers and teams including John Force Racing, Don Schumacher Racing, Coletta Motorsports and others. With the blessing of Tom Shelar's surviving life partner Danielle Berger and their son Patrick, the surviving members of the High Speed Motorsports team will compete at the two remaining Heritage Series events. First, Tulsa Raceway Park's Nitro Nationals on September 21st and finishing with the season-ending California Hot Rod Reunion at Bakersfield October 25th through the 27th. The entire drag racing community and yours truly sends its condolences to the Shilar family and all his friends. I would go to Orange County and bracket race. Uh, I had a 68 dart with a big block and I'd go bracket racing on Wednesday nights and stuff. Um, and I saw fuel cars, front engine fuel cars. And I said, Jesus, that's where I want to be. So I quit running the bracket race, focused on my business. Um, during the, the stretch of the early 90s through the, through the 1990s, um, my company was the number one distributor of the number one cam system in the industry for 10 years straight, okay? Um, which afforded me to grow the business and, and now I have a company that runs pretty much on its own um, with, with my guidance and I have some great people that work for me and I started to get it back into the racing with uh, Frank Hedge and, and Walt Stevens and that started in 1996 was when I met 
Walt. And in 97, I got to know Frank, who lived close to me. And, and in, uh, in 2004, uh, a gentleman by the name of Dale Singh hooked us up with a sponsorship for uh, the, the Plaza Casino and Hotel in, in Las Vegas, and it allowed us to put two cars on the field. And it allowed me to actually have my own car start building my own team um, and I was again on the organizing side of it I still wasn't tuning the car um, mechanically I was doing cylinder heads I was working on the car and everything but I wasn't tuning it and I had someone else tuning it at the time and we managed to win the uh, first Hot Rod Heritage Series championship in 2008 <laughs> worked together and I worked with Frank and it was his car and his, his program and everything and went through and learned and, uh, about running a fuel car and, and the struggles that we went through and I mean we tore stuff up and you know we just you know it was it was a learning curve. No, the course may change sometimes, rivers always reach the sea. So in 2010, I, I basically parked the car for most of the season, reorganized. My brother Rick um, came in and helped me and, and helped me get organized and helped me manage the team and, and let me begin to tune the car. And we just started working our way through all the little problems. Something would show up, we'd find a solution for it, we'd fix it, and then we'd move on to the next problem. It allowed us to make those baby steps, incremental baby steps of getting the car quicker. First you make it run right, then you can make it go fast. Um, Bob DeVore said to me one time, harmony creates speed. And the chemistry on the team is that important. And, and that's one of the things that I noticed in my business, you know, I need harmony on the, on, on the same thing, on the same level. You know, I was fortunate enough to get a seasoned driver like Bill Dunlap, who taught me how to be a better crew chief. Not to try and drive the car from the, from the crew chief spot. Um, he taught me how to let the driver do his job. Tunability is, is there, the chassis responds, um, and the, the crew 
you know, the chemistry on the crew. I mean, they, they give me back the car exactly like I want it. You know, it's like, okay, I want to squeeze the head gasket, Tim Tower. I want to, you know, I want to make a minor change on the car. The servicing that they do, it comes back and I don't have to worry about it. You know, my brother's car chief, um, we, we've moved some body around, I've got a couple of new bodies this year, but the organization that my brother has allows us to plug and play people pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, and it's just, it's just not me, it's the package, it's the whole group, you know. Um, I get to turn the knobs. And with the data that I've collected over the years, you know, I mean, 20 years into it, I've seen a lot of stuff. But in the last five years, I've collected a lot of data running my combination. You know, um, Jimmy Proc helped me with the camshaft. You know, I was struggling with certain things on the, on the tune-up net and, and got good advice from him. And he gave me a, 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 you know, try this cam profile. And we actually tried a couple of different cam profiles before we got the one we have. Um, and it's, you know, it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding. It's a long road. Thanks. Frank, we have way too much for anything we're doing, but it'll be good. It'll sit in somewhere. Yeah, you cut Well, it you know, if you it. keep going rounds, we can keep using you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so yeah. just.